okay welcome to this section so this is going to be a slightly easier uh, section um, what we want to do is basically to make sure that when this bad guy spawns he should automatically start moving towards the player the goal of the game will then be to to shoot this play to shoot this alien before it gets to the player so this is going to be um easy code compared to the last section in fact if you've gotten through the last section then um it's going to be smooth sailing going forward so we'll go in the bad uh in the bad uh script and then here we'll create a new function so this function is going to be called move to player so move to player so remember that the bad script is attached to the bad guy right the bad guy um, has that script right yeah so whatever code we write in, in in that script basically is affecting this node so what we're going to do is pretty straightforward we'll run an action so we'll save our action uh, maybe i'll call this action 2 Okay, or maybe we can, we, we can say or we'll say move action okay yeah so move action so this is going to be a cocos creator move to okay so the move to function is pretty straightforward what it does it is it takes in three parameters first of all the duration how long it should take to run and then uh, the other parameters will be the position. So the position in terms of the x-axis and the position in terms of the y-axis. So this is an example here. This is why I was about to write action by because, yeah. So you'd have a duration of two in this case, then it would move to a location 80, 80 if following uh, this example. So what we want to do is so in this case, for, 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 for our game, we'll go with um, something a little bit easy. Should take about three seconds uh, for the alien to get to the player. And then we'll then have to make sure that the alien is moving to the player. Now, how do we know the player's location? We can target it. So we can say, because this section was supposed to put an X position and a Y position but we want the player's position of course we can we can hard code it we can hard code it uh we know that the player the soldier has a position of one on the x and one on the y position we can hard code it one comma one and that would be uh fine but uh just to give to get you guys accustomed to to doing things dynamically we'll have to get the position dynamically not that the other method wouldn't work it would work it would be the easier one in this case but um just in case you need to get the, the position uh of something dynamically in the future this is uh, going to help so we'll get the child name uh, in this case soldier one soldier one okay so this dot node dot parent dot get child by name so what we're doing is we're calling for the canvas and then from the canvas we're saying pick a child one of these children and that child will pick using the name in this case the name is soldier one so soldier one is the name um that we pick so once we pick once we pick the soldier then we get the po the position on the x-axis then we'll do the same and only change for the y-axis so that's going to be y so in this case what's happening is we say this dot node dot parent which this dot node is the, 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 in this case, it's the bad guy. So from the bad guy, we want the bad guy's parent, which is the canvas. Then from the canvas, 
we want to get one of the children of the canvas in this case the soldier once we get the soldier we want to get the position of the soldier once we get the so the soldier's position we want to get the x position um that's basically what's going on there so the last thing then is basically to return so we'll say return move action yeah then all we need to do is just make sure that this is running um every time the game uh loads every time this uh this 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 scene is loaded so in our on load function we will do just that so here we'll say this dot action which has not yet been declared is going to be this dot move to player uh, in this case the function that we've just created then we'll say this dot node which is the the bad guy the alien so this dot node will then run the function so we'll say this dot node dot run action then we'll be running this dot action so notice how this has been written so this dot action is not yet uh, known so just click on on that and then it will declare an action at the top here so it will declare the action interval and that that will be that so what's happening is we've created a function move to player that's basically a move to function a move to action so this move to uh, action is the one that's being returned when we run move to player so we basically just equate move to player to this dot action and then this dot action is being run so this is like saying this dot node dot run action move to okay this move to so if we if we see how this is going to look now um if i reload it i'll just recompile immediately i recompile you see that the bad guy is getting to the player's position okay and that's basically what uh, this section was about throw a like remember uh leave a comment if you don't understand anything feel free subscribe um ring the bell icon um if you want to support me further you can uh, definitely buy one of my cocos creator courses check the links uh, below uh, catch you in the next one